it is pharmacy plus an X factor. That X factor will make you extraordinary. Always think, what is my career? What am I looking for? Past, present and the future. Future is all about specialization. You will study the, the same institute, the same professors, the stipend of what I'm doing as well. Can you name one company? One pharmaceutical company. You must always keep in mind, these are the five departments where I will work. And they are running with 100% business based on the critical stage. We were told that you are a pharmacy specialist. What made you to deep dive into this field? Hi Pradeepa, you are also a pharmacy specialist. But uh, let me tell it with a lot of pride that yes, people call me a pharmacy specialist. In spite of I am from mathematics and management background. Yeah, this is because as an educationist, and I was an academic administrator for a prestigious institution in Kerala. As an educationist, when we look at, we understand the need is more towards science students, yeah, versus the commerce. And if you ask me within science, the pharmacy students, if you ask me seven years back, six years back, they were kind of depressed. They were not able to get the right job in the hospital of dealing with the patients. They were into dispensing and they were not motivated. That's the time where a few pharmacy colleges asked us saying, can you help them? Yeah, not only pharmacy, even the science students like zoology and botany, etc. Today, with a lot of pride, we can say I have taken my international certification, attended a lot of pharmacy and pharmaceutical programs. Today, I am dealing with a lot of pharmaceutical companies. Today, I sit with the Pfizer and Johnson in UK and Ireland. I was into uh, UK and companies were asking if we do this project, how many students will be able to get as our uh, professional employees? Yeah, we are training partners for IPA. Indian Pharmaceutical Association. It's a big pride to cover all around 140, 150 colleges in and they're South India uh, and in coordination with the Indian Pharmaceutical Association as the trainers. The last match, the certification was in Amrita. I think out of 100, we were able to place some 60 plus uh, students. Yeah. So today, with a lot of pride, I can say yes, a pharmacy specialist, uh, trainer of IPA, and uh, in connection with the industries, we do a lot of projects together. Yeah. As a pharmacy specialist, how do you see the future of pharmaceuticals industry in comparison with current scenario? Okay, the future of pharmaceutical industry in comparison with current scenario. Yes, okay, let me add one more point. The pharmaceutical in the past, present and the future. Yeah, I told uh, you in the previous statement uh, five, six, seven years back, they had limited options to be in the hospital, going and assisting the doctors. No big role, they are just assisting the doctors. Later on, they are the dispensing medicines, etc. Later on, companies started coming in Bangalore, Hyderabad, the kind of places, and uh, people started getting some job options in quality control in regulatory affairs. And Apollo or Ashton kind of hospitals are taking them for the real rounding to counsel the patients, to take the histories, etc. Things are improving. But you ask me the future, definitely, I have to say it into three buckets. One is the hospital clinical pharmacy. Second one is the biggest, the pharmaceutical industry. Third one is the public health care segments. Yeah. So now, if you ask me, the largest is definitely pharmaceutical industry. The change for future, a pharmacy student always should keep in mind, they are looking for specializations today. Okay. When I say specialization, it is pharmacy plus an X factor. That X factor will make you extraordinary. Okay, so I did my B farm or farm D. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a graduate or a postgraduate. What is the X factor? Maybe when I compare IT with it, for example, I'm not talking about software and coding and all that. I'm talking about common sensical IT. I understand uh, the, the basics of IT. Then he or she is eligible for many departments, especially in pharmacovigilance, pharmaceutical data analytics, health informatics, bioinformatics, and even in quality and regulatory, the sample size is so high that they should have common sense of IT. Go to a factory, these are smart factories. Go to a machine, it is automated. So a common sense of IT is one. Second one, the real technology. Your, your drug discoveries, your production technologies, your regulatory affairs, your quality, etc. Et real technology, which is the core. Students are well aware of it. Third one, today, let me ask you, can you name one company, one pharmaceutical company in the whole world where the director and the owner is with a pharmacy background? Okay, so hands off to Mr. Reddy, Dr. Reddy's lab. Uh, after that, Dr. Reddy is no more now. So after that, it's very difficult to find a pharmacy company or pharmaceutical company with a pharmacy person uh, as, a, as, a, as a director and owner, right? So today, Johnson & Johnson and Pfizer kind of companies are launching a program. They already launched a program. They are saying, if at all I take someone from management, pharmaceutical management, I take a pharmacy student and teach them pharmaceutical business management. Okay, or I take the program on 
uh, pharmaceutical science combined with operations and management. Yeah, I did my management and I worked in a pharmaceutical company. You know how difficult it is because we only do marketing, we only do promotions. We don't understand the base of, of pharmacy. So that is one way, but today people are realizing if I teach management to a pharmacy student, the pharmaceutical business management will have more meaning. Okay, so I'm just giving examples on pharmacy with IT, pharmacy with the technology, pharmacy with the management, etc, etc. These are called specializations. So if you ask me, future is all about specializations. Yeah, so I urge every student to take, and this is what we discussed in most purchase institutions in Tamil Nadu and Kerala, to have an add-on program on data if possible and number the, they have already added uh, a, a management program to it. Uh, some universities are working on adding pharmacovigilance to it. So once they come out, they are a specialist. Sir, which are the popular programs that you recommend for a student who wants to pursue their career in abroad? Okay. It's a long story. If I say popular programs one by one, we can talk about 117 programs. But let me uh, put them into three buckets and make it a consolidated format. One is definitely the hospital pharmacy. Yeah. So hospital pharmacy and, and to the students, a uh, message from me. If you travel globally, you will understand you have a real role in the hospitals. Uh, here, you people are not very happy. I know the profile of the job and the freedom you get from the doctors. But the moment you talk global, for example, UK, when you go with a doctor for rounds, you take the history of the patients. You counsel them. You assist the doctor to prescribe from the listed medicines, of course. Yeah, so you have a role there and there's a good career. Yeah, so one is definitely a hospital pharmacy. You can go for a normal pharmacy program, clinical pharmacy program, or the farm DEM farm students can go for a program with the licensing. Yeah, it's called OSPAP in the UK, or we have a two-year program in Australia, in Brisbane, where two years of program, six months of internship, then you can take a license. You are a licensed practitioner. You can become an independent practitioner and all that. So clinical is one. Second is the pharmaceutical industry, which is very, very popular today. If you ask me programs, there are so many programs, but understand in this way, this way, any program that I do, my job will be in between five departments of a company. Which are the departments? I start with R&D or drug discovery. Then it goes for regulatory affairs because every country will have their rules and regulations. Then it goes for quality check. Then it goes to business department, business management. They understand the market survey, how much to produce and customers, etc, etc. And finally, it comes to the production department for production and technology. So whatever program you are choosing, maybe I'm uh, choosing a program only on quality assurance. It's available in a university called Technical University of Dublin. Or I'm using a program only on regulatory affairs. I'm taking a program only on formulation and compounding. I'm taking a program only on uh, pharmaceutical business management. You name a program, you can take it. But you must always keep in mind, these are the five departments where I will work. You understand? So there are options like pharmaceutical technology programs where all the departments are covered. For example, you will cover quality, regulatory, drug discovery, business management and production. Combined programs or one particular topic called drug discovery and deep dive into it. There's a program in Coventry called drug discovery and pharmacology. Deep dive into it. Yeah. So these are the kind of programs in pharmaceutical industry combined or one item deep diving into it. So one is clinical side, one is pharmaceutical side and the third one today becoming very, very popular is the public health segments. Yeah, public health segments are requiring people for their old age, their early childhood, their mental addiction, etc, etc. Okay, and if you ask me in UK or if you ask me in New Zealand, there are huge vacancies for public health. So let me summarize saying there is something called clinical, there is something called pharmaceutical and there is something called public health. And be very clear when I choose a country. For example, I'm going to Ireland and I want to be in clinical, you are going the wrong path. Because Ireland is inviting people for pharmaceutical industry, they have a tax benefit, they are producing pharmaceutical for the whole world. But their population is only less than 15 lakhs and they don't need many people for hospitals. Okay, but UK says I need people for hospitals. I, uh, uh, New Zealand says I need people for public health. That common sense or Canada says I need people for healthcare management or biotechnology. That common sense we need to have while choosing a program. So, which are the main programs and countries that you can recommend to the students who wants to pursue their career in abroad? Okay, I don't want to uh, recommend one particular country for students who are looking for pharmacy. That's that will be wrong. I would say those who are going for hospital pharmacy, always keep in mind you have a lot of vacancies in UK. 
and those who are looking for public help, you have vacancies in UK and in New Zealand. Those who are looking for uh, industry, pharmaceutical industry, US and Ireland. Okay, if you are willing to go for a two-year program, it's a little expensive, and if you are passionate, you can definitely go to US, the largest in the world. Equal to it, number two, number one, equal to it is Ireland because of the tax benefit. Every company, including our Indian companies like Sun Pharma, Reliant Pharmaceutical, etc., will have a branch in Ireland because of tax benefits. Yeah, so Ireland give tax benefit for pharmaceutical and IT. So name an IT company or pharmaceutical company, it is there in Ireland. So a student who are interested in pharmaceutical, it is Ireland, Ireland, Ireland or US. Okay. But if it is hospital, then UK or New Zealand, even Germany is inviting you for hospital and industry. But you have to keep in mind, it is German language. So hospital will be difficult because communication is involved. Yeah. So if it is Germany, it's always better to go for an industrial program. Like that, you choose. So I'm not saying one particular country. Always think, what is my career? What am I looking for? Okay, I'll give you one or two examples maybe. For example, I want to go for a program, a specialization on pharmacy with IT. So there's something called pharmacovigilance or pharmaceutical data analytics or pharmaceutical digital transformation, etc. A lot of programs in Ireland. I want to do something on drug discovery. A big program in UK. The benefit is in Coventry University, the program is a combination of drug discovery and pharmacology. So I'll work in the R&D department of a company in pharmaceutical. With pharmacology, I also work in the quality department of a hospital. It's a mixed program and it's a research university. Okay. So keep that point in mind. When I take some universities like Trinity or UCD in Ireland or Aston or Manchester or Coventry in UK, these are research based universities. They'll be demanding a lot of academics. But research-based universities, what is the advantage? After my one-year master's, if I want to go for my research, my PhD, etc., you will study there in the same institute, with the same professors, with a stipend of more than 2 lakhs per month. Okay, so these are academic universities. And there are some universities like Rajagiris and SRMs of, of South India, where they are placement-oriented. Okay, the, the uh, uh, HOD of uh, this college, Griffith uh, College in Ireland, they are the largest leading private university in Ireland with four programs on pharmaceutical. They have a program on pharmaceutical technology, they have a program on pharmaceutical business management, they have a program on pharmaceutical uh, digital transformation, they have a program on medical devices. And Mr. Finbushi, who is the HOD, is the MD of InnoPharma. Look at this. The managing director of InnoPharma is an HOD in the, in the college. He's my good friend. You could have seen my videos with him. And they are experts in placements. So they are running 50th year now, Griffith University, 50th year. And they're running with 100% placements for the last so many years. Okay. So there are university colleges and universities focusing more on your placements, placements, and placements. There are some research universities giving you a lot of uh, uh, programs for your academics and research. Okay. So which country and university, I leave it to you. But common sensically, anything on hospital, it is UK or it is public health in New Zealand and Australia, for example, they give you both. You can go for clinical and you can also go for industry. Okay. But Canada may not be much in the hospital, but in biotechnology or in healthcare management. And Ireland is all about pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical and pharmaceutical. Okay. In that you can have combinations between IT or devices and management, etc. So this is how the frame is based on the critical skill shortage. I think students should come uh, to uh, meet us. For detailed discussions one to one, you understand the real curriculum and which country will suit your requirements. Then saying this country is the best. Thank you, sir, for your valuable session. And students, if you want to come for a further discussion with a prior appointment, you are always welcome to our office. Thank you. Thank you.